Hello, I'm Greg Good from Good Rigging. I'm here at the IQ Show 2013 in Louisville, Kentucky to introduce the GRCS, also known as the Good Rigging Control System. It's GRCS is a two-speed capstan winch that's self-tailing. We've adopted it from the yacht business or the yacht industry. GRCS is shown here mounted on this pole. Uh, the basic system consists of the, the pole mount and the winch. What you see on the pole weighs about 70 pounds, uh, but you'll never have to handle all of the weight because the, it's, there are two components. You have the, the mount and the winch. So the winch weighs 25 pounds, the mount weighs 45 pounds, so when setting it up you'll never have to handle more than 45 pounds. Once you have the mount set up where you want it, the winch simply slips into place from underneath and is held into place by a retaining pin. When you're getting ready to lift a piece, the fall of the rope that you're using always goes through this upper fair lead, which captures the rope and leads it onto the drum in the proper position. To lift something, you, you, we encourage you to fill the drum up with as many wraps as you possibly can to maximize the surface contact between the drum and the rope. The final wrap will go over this peeler arm, which peels the rope off the drum and feed, feeds it into these spring-loaded self-tailing jaws. Now that we're locked into the jaws, we need an input force. This winch can be hand cranked with the included handle and the, the two-speed gearing system works by turning the handle clockwise, you're engaging the high-speed gear in the winch, which is a four-to-one gear reduction. Simply turning the handle counterclockwise engages the low speed, the low gear in the winch, which uh, has a 10 to 1 gear reduction. The nice thing about having the 10 to 1 gear reduction built into the winch is that you're able to lift loads like this 320 pound transformer with a small power tool using our uh, drill adapter. So you want to ensure that the drill is in reverse mode. So you're using low speed in the winch and simply put the, put the drill adapter into the handle socket, hang onto your winch, make sure the sight is clear and you can hoist away. Now if this were an actual job where we were really setting a transformer, we could get the winch or the transformer close to the, its final resting place with the, the drill and then install the handle to get it exactly where we need it to, to be and allow the operator of the winch and the lineman on the pole to be able to communicate easily with each other. So once we have it where we need it to be, we need to be able to release the rope and lower the load. So w w when the winch is in the the rope is in the self-tailing jaws on the winch, the jaws and the wraps on the drum are holding the load. But in order to lower the load, you have to remove the rope from the jaws. So when you do that, you have to be very careful to keep some tension on the rope, get a good grip on the rope, because now you're holding the load. So if we want to lower, we take a couple of wraps off the drum so the rope has some room to prevent overlap and engage one of these side pigtails and make sure we have some, we're pulling against the end of the pigtail with a little bit of force and by doing that we're able to lower the piece smoothly and concentrate on the piece and not have to worry about the rope crossing over on the drum or losing a wrap and losing control of the rope. 